So the so we're at the CV. There's so here we're gonna see this thing and the lines in Farmington, in, no, in Farmington, line. Norris, and Brereton. See this awesome thing. And we've seen the inside. It looks like a baby party in there. Well, because it is. It was. And a locomotive with that door open. Ow. Ah. And with more awesome content of this railroad that you will be amazed with. So we're at that abandoned bridge in Farmington, Union Pacific. The bridge is gone. The bridge is gone. The entire, the whole bridge is gone. How do you? You guys look what we found on the under on the Union Pacific line. Look at the condition to that knuckle. So that time we walked down that abandoned train line in Farmington. And I kept on saying that was the BNSF. Turns turns out, by the way, it's right it's right here. It's the same one we walked. Turns out it was actually it was really the Union Pacific. That tells you there was rail there. Maybe someone drove on it, but but you can totally tell there used to be trains. Imagine if you heard a train. Mm. The bridge is gone. That is sad. That is sad. Whoa. Whoa. Huh, oh, bonus. Fire siren. Poor knuckler. Been sitting here for decades. Doing nothing but rotting. Is this a brick? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. B S E I O. This is kind of sad. Why? Gone. You can't even get in. Dad, <laughs> we're trapped. Yeah. It was stupid to get up here. We'll find a way up. Hey, well, don't let anybody see you. Let's go. Get up. Whoa. Look at all these rocks. Look at all these rocks. Oh, it's covered in weeds. Whoa. Look. There's rocks. Yay, the weeds are disappearing. At least they're getting out of here. Cause through them. Whoa. Uh. How do train how do trains even get up here? How would trains even drive up here? I saw pieces of wood and it wasn't just chunks, it was the entire pieces of wood. And they're obviously the train to the train because they were covered in oil. This is creep. Terrifying how just creepy how much railroad. Yeah, yeah. Wood. There is wood. Wood. Ooh. And and again, here's if you skipped that other part. Here's a here's something we found under the old bridge that proves this was a railroad. That is a train knuckler. And plus, and the pieces of wood that were up on the top. That were, you're right, like that one. And then they were kind of, man, I guess they just couldn't remove all, couldn't remove all of the track. No, the wood. That would be cool if there was some wood. That's sad. They're, 
bridge is completely gone. Man, I was really excited. And now the bridge is gone. Holy. Dude, imagine if, imagine if, I, if there's like a train coupler sitting around, sitting around in one of these areas. Whoa, another piece of wood. Dude, we can't, I can't. Wow, this is hurting. This hurts. Ow, ow. Oh, it just c continues. Oh, obviously, it could. What the? What the? Ah. This sucks. This sucks. This hurts. I did see an area where it used to be like a wait the on the street road that was right here. We walked on the Union Pacific line. The Union Pacific one. Two weeks ago, and now we're walking. I believe now it's now three weeks. But we walked on the walked on the old. Union Pacific one, and now we're finally walking on the old BNSF. I never realized, I thought it was just that Union Pacific one was the BNSF one, it was the exact same one as this one, but no, this is an entirely different one. Oh, man. Nothing but abandonment. Yeah, this is abandoned. I don't even know what, I can't even tell where the rail used to be anymore. I can't even tell. Yeah, I can't tell where the rail used to be. It seems like it keep, kept curving at one part. Maybe it was like that when it was abandoned. I think it was... A bunch of plants have grown over this railroad. So there, there is really not much, not much to see about this abandoned railroad. Ooh. Ow. Ow. F in the chat for my legs. They hurt. There's a bunch of weeds everywhere. There's weeds everywhere. Weeds everywhere. Ow. Oh my god! Ow! Oh. Hit me in the face! Oh, that's that broken for hitting me! Holy crap! Yeah, I'm just trying to go through it like an abandoned. Dude, I don't know. I don't even know where I am anymore. I don't know where I am now. Oh my god. Yeah. That's where we were. That monstrosity. Okay, it came out here. And literally, there is now no bridge. At all. Up there was the BNSF. Right there. That grass area was... I think th over there, but that was the Union Pacific. Oh, uh, that for that one, that was Iowa Central, I believe. Yeah, Iowa Central. Then it was this railroad called MNSCL. Then it was CB and C and N W. Then it was Union Pacific. Then closed in 19 2008, and then was ripped out just two years later. But well, being this F one has some different history. That I believe it started out as I don't know what it started out like when it was first built, but it was C B and Q. It was C B and Q. That one ran. This one ran through Farmington, and over there ran through Yates City and Canton. Where Canton, there was an old depot. That was for the exact this exact same line. And the and that area was. Shut down after, and this line closed 
uh, believe after 1999, when the last train went through Canton. After the last train went through Canton, I believe it closed. This area section closed. It was after that. The, but it says the last train was maybe 2003, but just but maybe at its risk. So I don't even know if that's if, if that's the official date it came. But there hasn't been a train for a very long time. There has not been a single train for the longest time. Yeah, so anyways, this was the CB&Q for a while. Then 1940 became Burlington Northern after they merged together. I don't think Santa Fe ever took this line. Because in the 1994, I don't think it took this line and, and because in 1995 they merged with BNSF. Ew. Okay, so, yeah, this then was the BNSF. Then it shut down. I don't know what passenger trains went through Canton, but some, but there was obviously passenger trains. I, th I think there were passenger trains back when World War One and Two were were around. Ugh, I'm getting away from the bridge. But this shut this railroad shut down after the railroad after the coal mine was shut. And apparently, and like a few, like ten, uh, maybe ten minutes before we got here, we saw like an old, I think yard. Forgot the wait. And there's some lakes. Before we got here, those those lakes were used to be the coal mines. My dad's dad, my dad's father, worked for a yard or like that kind of area. I believe the coal mines for a while. Quit in 1985, and then closed. I guess a few years after that. Because the whole thing was ripped out in the 90s. The whole thing was just gone. There's, that's your bridge. That's your train bridge. Sadly, that is your train bridge. Oh my. There it is. There's some wood. That's train wood. There's some over there, but I don't, don't think you can see them. Wait, maybe you can. Don't know if this brick was part of the railroad or not. Possible coal. Before I end it, because my storage pumps. Oh, pieces of wood right there. Goodbye. We're in Norris. We're in Norris. There's a. There used to be an abandoned train line near the near the that building right there, but they're it, they're gone. Same one. But look, these were removed, but they're they were removed, but they're now. Wow. Smoking over there. Now we're fire. fire yeah, they were moved, but they're here. Look at that. I got a picture. That is old. And also, the train line had to be right there. It's right here? Right there. It's right there. Right over here. Yeah, it's right there. Thank you. It still looks like morning time for some reason. Right to the train station. Should be over there. Okay. 
This goes on for miles. some other parts but let's just we'll just see, see this part because I don't think I've been in this area Christmas train and then there was some more trains after that so I don't think that line that there's a bandit but this one right here is because it's not there anymore oh now and that's where the track for some reason gets farther from us for some station zone there don't mind the song railroad and there's some crossings yeah, this is what line isn't abandoned because if it was, it would be gone. True. Hmm. There has been an F unit that's been here. So we're just driving here. Look what my car just drove on. Oh my god. That's train track. What is. Wow. Those minivans right there are hard to find. Those are hard minivans. Minivans are hard to find. So oh, sorry, this is a bumpy road. Yeah. That is that's a minivan that's hard to find. Oh yeah, you can, haha, you can't see the license plate. <laughs> Do not turn around in my drive. Right here is the switch where it connected to that line. I think it's gone. Yeah, it's, there's the awesome old signal. What the heck was that? That's an old restaurant. Cool. Oh, that was a switch. That's the old switch. Oh, there you go. I'm in Middle Globe. I don't think you can see this well. I don't think you can see it at all. Oh, I can kind of see it. But right there is... Like, you can't even see my finger. Right right there. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I can't see. I'm not getting out because it's nighttime. It's gated off for some reason. It's cool. Hmm. I know why the railroad shut down, but why did the coal mine shut down? 